All right, so we have formulas now for when we factor what we call a difference of cubes or the sum of cubes. So if I'm missing a bunch of middle terms and I have something that's cubed minus something that's cubed, it factors to this. It's just a formula that you have to memorize. Same thing here. An a cubed plus a b cubed factors this way. So the key is, is to figure out in these situations what a is equal to and what b is equal to and then just to plug them right into this formula or down here, depending on whether or not you have a sum of cubes or a difference of cubes. What you notice for the sum of cubes is that it goes positive, negative, positive, and a difference of cubes goes negative, positive, positive. Okay, so here, and there's a step-by-step -step again on how to do it if you want. So what is my a? My a is equal to x and my b is equal to five. So when I plug this into the formula, I'm going to get an x plus 5. Oh my goodness. It's driving me crazy. Um, an x squared minus 5x plus 25. And all I did was basically just plug this in to this formula here. a plus b, a squared minus ab plus b squared. Okay, so I'm going to factor out a 4 first because I'm going to factor out my greatest common factors. So then my a is equal to x and my b is equal to 1. So this factors to 4, x minus 1, x squared plus x plus 1. Okay. Now, when you don't have it, you could have like a, almost like a difference of square situation. Um, but I don't want you to do like any weird like square roots or anything like that. So here, this factors to a difference of squares. The square root of 256 is 16. And then it's, because it's x to the fourth, it's actually x squared because we square root both of them, right? And one of them is positive and one of them is negative. Now, this one doesn't factor anymore. But this one is a difference of squares. So I have an x squared plus 16. And then I have an x minus 4 and an x plus 4. If this was left and it didn't have, like, a perfect square, I wouldn't want you guys to factor it into weird square roots or anything like that. Okay, so 81 is 9n squared minus 1. And it, oh my gosh. Oh, this thing tonight is driving me crazy. Okay, so an n squared minus 1 and then 9n squared plus 1. Again, this one factors to a difference of squares, so 3n minus 1, 3n plus 1. And a 9n squared plus 1. Here, 4x to the 4th minus y squared. 4x to the 4th plus y squared. So then I'm left with a 2x squared minus y. 2x squared plus y, because that factors to a difference of squares. And then I just bring down my 4x to the 4th plus y squared. All right, now these ones kind of look like what you've been factoring before. Uh, the 3 goes on the top, the 4 goes on the bottom, so it's 1, 3. So then this goes x squared plus 1, and then x squared. Oh, my goodness. Plus 3. Now, if these were to factor more, then I would want you guys to factor it more, but it doesn't, so then you would just leave it. Here, this is 36 and 12, so 6 and 6. So I have an x cubed plus 6 over 9. And an x cubed plus 6 over... I'm not making it through all these. 6 over 9. So then I have an x cubed plus 2 over 3. The quantity squared, so then this is 3x cubed plus 2, the quantity squared. And that's it for this lesson.